Well, hello and welcome to another little quick tour of the Genos 2. I wanted to show you today that the um, audio capabilities of Genos really open up a whole new world when playing. Um, one of the styles that are in the keyboard is the 80s monster hit. Now, this is its glaringly obvious what it's for. You're right, it's shout, and it's clearly designed. Um, and what I've managed to do is get an audio clip of the vocal phrase, which is linked into the multipad. So if I was to press multipad one, it sings. Um, and one of the tools that you can do is actually connect the sustain pedal that's on the floor to the keyboard and tell it to trigger when I press my foot. So if I press the pedal on the floor, <laughs> it repeats and it will trigger the phrase. So when you're playing, can do so much with this damn keyboard there's nothing it won't do um so if you want to you can actually put into registration so it's all set up ready to go so now all i do is just literally play <laughs> And then if you decide you want to go off and play a guitar solo... Bring the vocal in. It's just phenomenal the things that this can do. And of course, everything just locks up and syncs. And once you've set your registration and store this, when you recall every single time, it will bring back those settings. Your favorite sounds. Now, in the Genos, there are lots and lots of old 80s hit sounds. That's 80s harp vox. You've got VCF pad. It's just full of really clever stuff because what they've done is obviously creating a style. They need to give you all the stuff that goes with it and they've managed to condense a whole section for synth and pad with some really incredible FM stuff, um, strings, CS pad, soft FM pad,
bell pads. So you've got all the sounds that you actually need for this style of music. And of course, as you go through the styles, there's others in here that you'll immediately recognize. That one's about somebody working in a cocktail bar. Yeah, and all that sort of stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't actually play this, but never mind. Um, 80s retro disco. Something about... Um, OTS is already set. Uh, and then you've got things like 80s funk icon. I mean, heaven knows who that could be. It's just incredible, isn't it? Again, the voicing. So in Genos, yes, you have a lot of stuff in here, um, and some really yes, sir, that is. IOTS 2. Just so detailed, the fact that they've got those little strings with the dilling in the background. Listen, uh, so much attention has been put into these stars, um, and the keyboard runs. Don't forget, what's the point of buying an arranger that doesn't have great styles? It does. This is the keyboard for so much um, fun, entertainment, and you really don't get bored with it. Again, Beg your pardon, I didn't offer you a <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, another one, 70s US uh, pop duo. Love will keep you.
yet another great hit, you know, a 70s Euro pop. Save your kisses for me. In fact, you could play 101 things this one because it's one of those sort of generic bouncy styles. Uh, Sort of stuff, 70s Swe- Swedish 8-bit. Let's see where this goes. Oh yeah, we know what that one is. She's Pop Queen. <laughs> this is going to be a Madonna. Yeah, it is. Papa Don't Preach. is 8 beat whatever this is let's try and see what the intro to is now that sounds familiar Uh, 80s Euro Pop. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's 99. Yeah, I really don't like that one. Um, 99 Red Balloons. Horrible song. But that's just my preference. Uh, 80s Power Ballad. Let's try this one. Go to
much. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Uh, 80s power ballad. Hmm, wonder what that one could be. That's a great style, that really is. Uh, 80s uplifting ballad. Oh, in fact, let's, let's, I missed 80s boy ballad, but you know. She's uplifting ballad. things to that one that's a very generic sort of style Phil Collins with that one. Must have been love. Da, 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 da. 70s glam piano.
Uh, let's have a look at swing piano. Piano is amazing. Could somebody can tune my piano, please? piano just needs a bit more brightness. It's a very different style. I'm not happy with that piano though because it sounds it's not sharp enough. Let me just go and have a look because there's a the C7 Celestial. If you use that and then detune it, um, let's just tune it slightly off. more like it. Yeah, that's definitely more like it. That's a great style. Very, very much uh, different, very different to anything I've heard on. Okay. I noticed some of the style parts um, and this one in particular the, the, the voicing levels are not really to my liking but It's, it's something you can have a play with. Oh! <laughs> oh, I never... I've, do you know how long I've had this keyboard? And I have not gone through all of the voices. And this is an absolute hoot. 70s skiffle piano. Oh, 
hang on a minute. <laughs> my, guitar, my guitar tuning is set. It's set to um, the, the tune Honky Tonk. So my guitar is a little bit um, smashed. Um, So clever to include the. Where are, where are they coming from? Now you would have thought that was a vocal, but it's not. It's a drum gun. Doom. 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 That's so cleverly done. Is absolutely geniusly done. Well done, Yamaha. That's that's so clever. Um, 70s super soft rock. Let's have a listen to this. This may not be the right style for this, but it works. Variation A. No, it doesn't. <laughs> if that's right but anyway it's close um pop pop legend living on the boogie maybe not oh wow <laughs> i don't know what to play play around with that for quite a while. Uh, Philly Disco, never sure on these ones. Oh, it's good old, um, what's his name? Yeah, sex Machine. That That is just not coming to me. Um, it's Barry White, I know. Uh, da. No, 
is not coming to me tonight. That one isn't. Um, sorry, Barry. Your vibes are not coming through. Um, upbeat tempo eight. <laughs> It's for the world. Oh, it's a harvest for the world, definitely. Um, <laughs> 70s pop shovel. from it. I haven't got any music, I just play from, play from play from my weird head that's got all this stuff stored. Now is this um don't know. Waterloo, uh, 80s Scar. Not sure about the voicing on that. I don't know the chords to that one, but anyway, yeah, it's our house, 70s scar, it's madness. Yeah, let's skip that one, I'm not a fan of the... Absolutely no Scooby-Doo what that one is. Nope, that one doesn't come to mind either, but there you go. Love Shack. it called every step every step you take right let's have a look piano power ballad oh i know what's going to go to this
sorry, you you can't have a ballad guitar. You've got to have a bit of a welly one. get carried away with that sort of thing <laughs> and draft away right so that's piano ballad let's go to 80s piano ballad this is not what this video was intended to do but never mind You can do lots of things with that. 16 beat, 16 bells. The, the voicing I don't know if you're listening to this through a decent set of speakers but the, the panning the whole sound of this thing is just Just, I keep saying it, it's stunning, it's stunning, it's stunning. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. Eighties love ballad. Is this one? I think it is. Maybe not. It's not what I expected that style.
really works well, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Reef Reggae, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, but anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure that's quite right for that song, but it's a good one. I never understand that French hit. I, it's been in so many keyboards. I, I, do, I have no idea what that song fits or that style fits. So if you know what 70s French hit fits, leave a comment in the, the messages below. Oh, yeah, that one's been in here as well. Deep is your swimming pool. Uh, 70s Baroque pop. works nicely. Yeah, it's definitely bright eyes. I would never have called this style 70s Baroque pop. I would have called it bunny pop or something that <laughs> relates to the rabbits. Um, anyway, Sunny Reggae. Let's go variation four. Light reggae? Yes, we do. Light, not as in like reggae. I don't have a big reggae... Um, Repertoire, funnily enough, uh, but there you go. Spanish, uh, Spanish, Swe Swedish, Euro disco. This has got to be something to do with ABBA. Oh no, no, no! Actually, I've got an idea what this might be. Oh, 
or maybe not. Uh, let's try intro three. Not a, not a dicky not a dicky bird. I have no idea what that is. Um, that's Swedish Euro disco. If you know what that fits, drop me a message in the comments below. This sort of swingy sort of 8-bit stuff doesn't sort of really tip my box, I must admit. Um, Pop Walls. It's there. <laughs> it's in there. 80s exotic pop. La Isla Bonita, maybe? I don't know. It was La Isla Bonita. Um, yeah. Uh, Latin Party Pop. Oh, no, I don't like that one. That's uh, Lionel Richie all night long. It's just, I just, no. It doesn't work because the style can't do everything that the song does. Uh, so you're sort of constricted into what you can do. I uh, don't like it. Oh, smooth operator. Smooth. Hang on, hang on. We don't need an intro. That's definitely a smooth operator. 80s mellow pop. 
I do love these intros. Not a Scooby Deer idea. That's um, di uh, is it Dire Straits? Uh, what's its song called? Your your latest your latest kiss was it your latest hit? Uh, it, the intro tells you. I can't play because I don't know the song. I, I do know the song, but I don't know how to play. I'm sorry. I don't like any of those OTSs. That's just my personal taste. Uh, let me just go and find a nice... That's that's when you need a different instrument. Um, I think in percussion they put it. Um, yeah, it gets me on a Sunday or a Saturday or whatever. <laughs> it's a great style, that is. You can do so much with that one. Earmark that as a favourite, definitely. There you go. Right, uh, 80s UK in the pop. God, blimey, how many pages? We're on the last page and we're on the last one, two, three, five. Is this? Oh, how the hell are you supposed to play with that? I have no idea. It's not really, I mean, unless you want to, I don't know what the hell you would do with it, because it, it's a it, it's a talk over, uh, no, no, sorry. No, that, that, that's clever for clever's sake, because you can't really do much with that one. Sorry, sorry, Yamaha, found one that I don't, really don't like. No, there's nothing there to give me an idea of what it is. Oh, hang on. Da -ba -da 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 -da.
Yeah, that works. That's really good. That's a definite favourite star. Uh, 80s analog ballad. Oh, 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 oh. This is one of the best things. That This is one of the best stars Yamaha have ever put into a product. I just want the guitar. No. And what do they give you? They give you club lead and uber sweep. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Let me just go into the effects because it needs it needs a bit more reverb on my guitar. Um, that's better, and it needs um, it needs. It needs some delay on right one. Just add some more delay. Yeah, give that some boot. It needs also some... Um Definitely needs a bit more brightness on the guitar. So I'm going to go into the EQ and I'm going to increase the high gain. I'm going to go into filter and... Oh yeah, that's that's what you could see. This is what you call the effects. This keyboard has more effects up the yin yang. It's just it's just driven with so many of powerful effects processors. And it, you know, it's it's down to realism. But I am still lacking I am still lacking um, brightness, so I'm going to go into the effects. I'm going to go into assign part setting, and I'm also now going to go into EQ and compressor and look for an EQ control of some description. Uh, EQ, 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 EQ. Where are you, EQ? Compressor, compressor. It's all compressors. Um, where are they going? EP and synth acoustic electric compressor. Uh, three band EQ. Can I do anything with that? No. Um, do be do be do be do legacy. See, they're all reverbs. Uh, yeah, oh, here we go. EQ Disco. Stereo 3 band EQ. Okay, right, come out of there. Tap on the EQ. Detail. Right, high gain. Yeah, that, oh, that just, 
this is where this keyboard kicks ass with anything else. Uh, all right, let's go back to another style so um, I can get carried away with this sort of thing. Um, smooth pop ballad. strings on the left hand so we're going into legacy strings page four strings pad yeah you can do things like that with that one 80s chill out synth That's a free play style, not as I would use that, but there you go. Well, we've had a skedaddle through the retro pop section of the Genos. I found some new stuff that I had no idea was in here. Um, so it just goes to show you, you re I mean, seven months, is it seven months, seven or eight months um, since I've had this, and there's still stuff in there that just comes out of the woodwork. Because, of course, there's 800 styles in here, so to sit and go through... Every single one would be probably two or three days' work, um, you know, to sort of figure out what to play to it and blah, blah, blah. Um, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I, I probably bored the socks off you. Um, but the <laughs> going back to the first thing um, was the, um, the fact you can add audio vo vocals to... It helps you put it in the right key. There we go. Yep, there you go. I'm talking to you. I literally have been talking to you for... How long have I been talking to you? An hour? Wow. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope I haven't bought the socks off you. I just wanted to show you what this incredible instrument can do. Um, yeah, I'm still seeing, even now, posts, oh, Genos 1 is better than Genos 2. What a mump, dump to you must be to post stuff like that. <laughs> You've got to hear it. Um, uh, there is lots and lots and lots of stuff in here that, as you probably well know, if you've got one, that will keep you entertained for utterly years on end. Um, and it grows and grows and grows with you because you can expand with styles, you can expand with voices. There is no limits to what this keyboard can do. And uh, I, I just hope you go and have a look at one. Um, so there you go. I, I thought I'd spend an hour relaxing and sort of unwinding going through this and um, there you have it right i shall see you guys at some point in the next certainly within the week uh thank you to all those of you who do watch these videos and subscribe and give me a little like or even leave a comment which is the nicest part but do please click subscribe because it helps to get the channel seen and i know a lot of people keep saying this but if people don't look at the channel youtube consider it to be yeah well you know it's not worth looking at so therefore we'll drop its popularity and we won't show people the videos so it's sort of it's, it's like a filing cabinet you end up falling down the back um whereas if people keep pulling you out and looking at you namely this <laughs> we're pulling nothing else out and looking at it um uh, but anyway i hope you are looking at it um and um please by clicking the subscribe you get my videos see more so you would be doing a huge favor because the number of people that watch these videos and don't actually click subscribe is just crackers um i mean like millions of hits throughout the month and you look and you know, say just just makes no sense until next time my friends look after yourselves have a happy happy week uh fortunately in the uk i think the weather forecast is 
pretty poor, so um, it gives you opportunity to stay indoors and play your keyboard. So until next time, take care, look after yourselves. Bye-bye.